doing? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> now, we just... Well, let's start there. How are you doing? Yeah. How are you doing? <laughs> we just want to ask you a couple of questions, but put a bit of an oddball spin on it. Yeah, yeah. So we've got some cups. Underneath <gasps> some of these cups are something sweet and something not so sweet. Um, and... Uh, Hopefully you find the sweet things under there. You, as, as Swampy Marsh says, you got to risk it for the biscuit. got to risk it for the biscuit. This is like a, 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 I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. <laughs> yeah, is, well, it may is be. one of them going to be like an animal's Qu- testicle? They, or they've all passed quarantine. So. Oh, the, okay. That's yeah, good. So. That's great. It's, <laughs> should be so fine. do I... Uh, yeah, when do just, I start? Uh, well, you can you can start after. I'll, I'll for every question. The questions for every question. Yeah. Do I get six questions? There are four questions. Damn. So you may miss out on something okay. horrible. Um, now, what was it like working so closely with the animals on the set of Oddball? Well, it's great. I mean, they're, they're, they're gorgeous. Look at them. Look at this guy. Already, Sorry. people are not looking here. Right now, they're all going, that's a so cute dog. Is that a penguin? I mean, they're, they're, they're great. I mean, we are very careful to say they're a working dog. So, um, you know, we don't want people to rush out and go and buy them a dog because it looked cute in the film. Yeah, yeah. But um, oh, they're fantastic. I mean, penguins are... I mean, I got a chance to work with penguins. And not only that, through the process of making the film... I had a chance to uh, spend a bit of time with the penguins before we filmed, and I got to take my kids in. Mm. So, uh, you know, for them, that was a fantastic memory. They got to meet the dog, and, and you know, that, that was great. But then I got a chance to, um, you know, ask permission, can the kids come in on a, on a day? We, it wasn't a filming day. It was just mm. a day for, for me to familiarise myself with the penguins. And my kids got a chance to see me, you know, holding a penguin. I mean, you don't get a chance to do that too often. So, And then at the same time, they got to see chickens and dogs, and, you know, it was, we didn't get to see a fox. Mm. Um, which was probably a good Just idea. The <laughs> exactly, they got to see a toy fox. So yeah. it was fantastic, you know, not not only for the kids but also for me. Yeah. And you know, the fact is, they do they steal the show and justify. Were they better them. behaved than other actors you worked with? Did you get any acting <laughs> tips from them? Better behaved than every actor <laughs> I've ever been there. And did you get acting tips from them? Yeah, every well, yeah, you get critiqued. Mm. Just kind of, oh, sure. I don't know what that means, but they said it a lot. Mm. All right. Well, let's let's risk it for the well, biscuit now. Let's okay. do it. All right. I'm just gonna go with this one here. It's yes. Yes. Ah, do That's I eat a, during this interview? We are, uh, you can. Yeah. <laughs> you can. All right. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll wait. This is chocolate rewards biscuit. for the in- crunchy chocolate chip cookie. I've just realised you're actually training me like a dog because you know this is how <laughs> they get the dogs to do it. <clears throat> they yeah. offer them a treat. So if they stand on the right spot, they get fed. <clears throat> I get fed a treat. I've mm. just realised this is this is what's happening here. <laughs> so I've got to sit still now. <clears throat> stay, Shane. Stay. Yeah, I'll hold it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what was it like working with the tight knit community of uh, Woodamble? Warnable, as, as they pronounce oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Warnable. Warnable. <coughs> yeah, it's... Um, Stand corrected. Yeah, it's... Uh, that's all right. I th- apparently, I say Bathurst wrong. It's Bathurst. <laughs> Bathurst. Have I said that wrong? I'm about to find out. Um, th- they were amazing. They were... They were I've, I've actually been to Warnable quite a lot. Right. And this is now... <clears throat> I shouldn't say coincidentally. It just happens to be the second film I've done out of Warnable. I did a film with Paul Hogan called Charlie and Boots, which yeah. starts in Warnable. <laughs> so... Um, I kind of have a very special connection to it, which sounds sounds a bit over the top, but the but the township was just so welcoming. I mean, we blocked off the street when we were filming, and, and mm. one of my favourite stories is I'm, I'm not sure if the director, Stuart <coughs> McDonald, wanted the street to be new, but before we got there, they knew we were filming in the main street. When we got there, they'd retard the road, and I think we wanted it to look like an older town, but they just... they they. They, they couldn't do enough for us. And mm. they're continuing, you know, to support the film because it does celebrate that beautiful coastline. Yeah. So um, th- they were wonderful. And, and it, you know, we've got a special premiere that's, that's being held there, which I'm going down for. And, nice. no, they're a, they're, they're, they're a town full of good-hearted people. Mm. Would you like to risk it for another I, I, biscuit? I get, another, I get another go. See, I don't think it'll be that. I'm going to go there. Oh. Yes! <laughs> Snag two cookies. <laughs> and the great thing is you get sound effects too. Because this is how they did Star Wars. There can be only one. <laughs> I've come for my son of Keeb. That's James L. Jones, lives in yep. a car. <laughs> um, how long did it take to perfect the perfect uh, the Swampy Marsh beard? I can grow a beard over lunch, to be honest. <clears throat> you do all right. Yeah. <laughs> Alan, when did that start? 13? Uh, yeah, around about. <laughs> Past <yeah>. one. <laughs> yeah, I was clean shaven this morning. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I actually grow facial hair quicker than I want to, to be honest. Um, actually, oh, sorry. Sorry, I've got to shave. Right. Um, no, it, 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 it didn't take that long, but it's there's that in-between period. Well, even the back end of it, I had to grow my hair out as well. So I actually started to look more like the dog than the dog did. And then they permed it, with, which they put chemicals in your hair, and it actually burns the the structure of your hair. That's how it be, That's why it's called a perm, because so it's a permanent. Perm. 
Well, this is what they did with hot irons, <clears throat> like literally shoe irons, no, no, uh, of a horse. They burnt my face. No, but th- their hair was done with this chemical, but it's quite painful. My, I salute all the elderly women out there that are okay with having their hair, but what basically feels like is on fire because it burns for a long time. It felt like years, and then they wash it out, but the smell doesn't go. So every time you have a shower, the smell of rotten eggs turns up on top of your head again. So my kids didn't want to come near me. Oh, so we've established that was the hardest part of the whole shoot. Do I get beard. A, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do I get another? You get another shot of the biscuit. I get a feeling someone's gonna not want it in a row. <laughs> I reckon it's gonna be that one. Oh my god. god! Hey, me and food. <laughs> we've just got away. Me and food are very good friends. <laughs> um, so tell us time uh, about about spending time with the real Swampy Marsh. Um, what did you learn from him, and uh, did he teach you any other famous one-liners? No, he's uh, he's he's one of those guys that talks in riddles like my my uncles and and, and aunties used to. He uh, he's kind of that guy, that, you know, rigid edge and fair dinkum. He's that kind of guy. Um, but I, the, 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 he's just a fun guy to be around. Uh, he 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 has an eternal youth about him. Um, I think he'll still probably be acting like a teenager, you know, in his eighties. And I keep saying he'll probably live to two hundred. He's just <laughs> one of those guys. Mm. But he he has an infectious personality. Like you do, he's the guy you want to be sat beside at a bar yeah. sharing a beer with and because he's uh, he's optimistic about everything he's that she'll be right what could possibly go wrong guy mm. um, and, you know I think he's the kind of guy and, and we share a lot of common interests we get along pretty well yeah. you know because he likes motorsport and <clears throat> and he's you know and he's that warm hearted guy well the fact that he kind of heard penguins were being attacked by foxes and said how about I put my dog on the island I think it'll save the penguins like yeah. He's even, uh, even you know, kind of got enough room in his heart and mind to kind of look out for others. So there's a lot about Swampy to love and uh, and very little to dislike. But he, I mean, he is a, he can divide people in the community. He's also sometimes him and the uh, the council at Warrnambool can sometimes come to loggerheads. Right. Sam, so once you'd met him, did you feel like that it was going to be hard to do him justice, or were you like? Yeah. No, I kind of felt like I, I probably made it a little bit easier. I mean, you always feel a little bit of a burden. You want to do an extra special job because you are playing someone that exists. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's going to be people that, that, that know him and, and will, will kind of judge you on how close you were. But we're also able to add a bit of my own personality I- I into the character. And, yeah. and I, I have not minded admitting to people that I also kind of wanted to be a little bit like Santa. I made sure that my character looked over his glasses a lot and, right. you know, like a lot of old people do that. Oh, is that right, young man? <laughs> you know, all that kind of stuff. So yeah. I, I, I kind of melded them together. Arkydak, would you like to risk it for another biscuit? Okay, I'm going to guess. Mm, if I was laying this plate out, I'm going to go there. Oh, yes! Four for four. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the big Jake. He knows what he's doing when it comes to food. And Not bad. I now can't focus. There's four biscuits beside <laughs> me. Oh. Yeah, it's awful. <laughs> oh, you know, if aliens came to Earth and said, "We've uh, just wanted to come and say hi, check some stuff out," you're very strange things. Uh, don't quite get you people. You wear makeup and you're filled with ego, and I think it's going to destroy your planet. That ego. Um, but we've got to take something back just to prove we'd be here. Brussels sprouts. They can take them all. They can take them all. Oh, a spider! <laughs> Not real, is it? No. Nah. <laughs>